This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training with a response to a question I received about editing slides in slideshow mode. Esther asked, are we able to edit our slides and make corrections to our slide when we're in presentation mode? And her example is, as when my boss is reviewing slides and asks me to make changes on the spot, she has to exit from presentation mode back to normal view to make the edits. Therefore, my boss's focus gets interrupted. So we don't want to interrupt your boss's focus. Well, the direct answer is no. In this video, I'm gonna show you a combination of shortcuts and features you can use to create this effect. And then at the end, I'll show you some of my favorite hidden PowerPoint shortcuts to help get you to happy hour. But first, if you wanna support the channel and learn everything there is to know about PowerPoint, check out our PowerPoint Pro membership in the description box below. And here in PowerPoint, this is what I call the ultimate workspace challenge. In Control B to Bold, you can see that I'm already in it. What looks like slideshow mode, except for a little white around the edges, is actually the normal view of PowerPoint where I can select objects, select the picture, and edit everything. Except that I don't have the thumbnails here on the left, not even a little name that says thumbnail, and I don't have the ribbon up top or the command bar at the bottom. Now, if I scroll all the way to the bottom of my screen, you can see my Windows 10 um, taskbar floats in, but this is actually still PowerPoint, and you can tell, because if I click these three little dots, I get all of my commands at the top and bottom back. So this is what we're working towards, and I'm gonna quickly undo this and show you exactly how to get this job done. The key here is two sets of shortcuts that need to be done in this specific order. First, we're gonna control shift. This is the normal icon, which you can find here at the bottom of your PowerPoint workspace. So that's gonna hide our thumbnails. Then we're gonna use the control shift plus F1 to 100% hide our ribbon. And again, you do need to do it in this specific sequence, otherwise it won't work. So let's quickly do this. So control shift, I will hold in control and shift, click the normal icon, which will 100% hide my thumbnails here on the left. Now this is the only way I know of to 100% hide your thumbnails. Most people, if I just click the normal icon again to bring them back, think that this is the only way to, or the smallest you can make your thumbnails when in fact, all right, if I control shift and then click the normal icon, those thumbnails will 100% disappear. Next, we're gonna control shift F1. So still holding the control and shift key, just hit F1 on your keyboard. We'll 100% hide the ribbon up top and the command bar down below. Now, when you first do this, you might actually have your ruler there. If I just select these birds and hit delete, here in the normal view, you can hide your ruler by hitting the alt shift F9 key. Alt shift F9 will bring mine back. Mine was already hidden. Alt shift F9 will hide it. Now, once you're in this ultimate workspace challenge view where you can edit as your um, boss or colleague um, rattles stuff off to you, the way to undo this is just to, to reverse this order. So I will Alt Shift F9, bring my ruler back. I will Control Shift F1 to bring my ribbon up top and the commands down below back. And then I will just click the normal icon to bring back my thumbnails. And my little, I'll just Control Shift H, we'll talk about the notes pane in just a second. So one more time, I'll just walk through it. So I'm gonna Control Shift, click the normal icon, Control Shift F1, will hide my thumbnails, Alt Shift F9, will hide my ruler. I can work in PowerPoint, I can advance my slides up and down. And then to redo it, I'll just Alt Shift F9, Control Shift F1. It feels like a lot of clicks at first, but once you get used to it, it's not so bad. So that is the ultimate workspace challenge. The one thing or the hand to face mistake to make when doing this is saving your presentation without resetting your workspace back to the normal or default um, workspace that your clients, colleagues, and bosses are used to working with. If you do not reset this, these workspace edits will actually save to the presentation, which is totally gonna confuse your boss, clients, or colleagues. So let me just quickly demonstrate this, because I already saved, I'll Windows D to my desktop. I already saved all those changes to this PowerPoint presentation, and if I open it, notice that my ribbon up top and the command bar showed up. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. It's kind of a crap shoot. But notice here on the left that my thumbnails are not there. Most people have no idea that you can hide your thumbnails like this, so I highly encourage you to make sure you um, unhide them just by clicking the normal icon before you control S to save your presentation. So you do not want to control shift, click, control shift F1. You do not want to alt shift F9, save your presentation like this because there's a high probability chance your client, boss, or colleague will open this up 
and this is exactly what they'll see. And if you wanna learn all about the default formatting I talked about in my other video, check out my other video here on YouTube. I'm gonna flip back to our presentation and let's talk about, if you're using this view, how do you deal with PowerPoint animations? So PowerPoint animations, things that pop up as you advance through your slide, well, how will you deal with that um, when you're doing this ultimate uh, workspace challenge? And the first key is you're gonna wanna open up the animations tab. Why open up the animations tab? And just as a quick heads up, normally you can kind of just view your animations if you click this little star here on the left. But if you open the animations tab, you'll actually see all of the animations you're working with, which if we're going to that ultimate workspace challenge, control shift click, control shift F1, I don't have my ruler, this is gonna give you the clue where the animations are in your presentation. So as I advance through this deck, because I'm in the normal view, none of my animations will fire. So your first choice or solution is to hit shift F5. Shift F5 will bring you to the presentation mode and allow you to click through or slideshow mode, whatever you want to call it, will allow you to click through um, your bullets. I realize this is a very dull, boring slide. It's just a mocked up slide. Only disadvantage of this, you'll have to hit escape, come back, edit something, shift F5. It's not the end of the world, but this is one way you can deal with your animations. It's basically just shift F5 and then clicking through. The second solution for you is Alt-A-P-P. Alt-A-P-P is your ribbon guide shortcuts to alt a p p essentially run all of your animations for your slide. It doesn't allow you to stop mid run to like, for example, if my boss wanted to see this, these animations fire and wanted me to edit um, point number three, alt a p p, the animations will just run on their own after which they'll stop. You'll see I'm back in the normal view and then I'll be able to edit them. So that's a second option for you. And the key here is if I just go to my next slide, well, now it's going to walk me through my animations. All right, first key is you want to open the animations tab so you can see all the animations. Then you either want to shift plus F5 your way through them, or you want to alt A P P. And notice these commas here. This means you do not need to hold these keys down to make it work. Just hit alt A P P. As a third option, you could also open the animations pane, which would look like this. Let me just quickly come back out of our workspace challenge. I'll even bring back my ruler. If you come to animations, animations pane as you're working through if you have your animations pane open all right you can click in and then play your animations from specific points here in the animations pane so this would be another option for you but with that all done now let's talk about some hidden powerpoint shortcuts and these will all be using these icons here at the bottom of your screen and again most people don't know about these types of shortcuts so let me quickly walk you through some of my favorites and for hidden PowerPoint shortcuts, let's start with the normal icon and I'll hit escape to come back to the normal view. Now, just as a warning, I'm gonna go through a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts and stuff. If you want more practice with these, I recommend checking out our PowerPoint shortcuts mastery course inside our PowerPoint Pro membership that you can check out in the description box below. So first off, what happens when you naturally click the normal icon? If your notes pane is closed, clicking the normal icon will bring up your notes pane. I'll just expand a little bit. The natural shortcut for your notes pane is control shift H. So control shift H will open or close or open your notes pane. Clicking the normal icon again will give you the outline view. This is where you can see all of the content within your presentation that's typed into content placeholders. Special note, notice how none of this text is fed or coming into the outline view. That's because these are not content placeholders. These are normal shapes or rectangles that I've inserted into my presentation. If I click the normal icon again, the thumbnails come back. So if my notes pane is open, just clicking the normal icon will just open or close the outline view and I'll control shift H to hide my notes pane. So first off, let's talk about resizing your thumbnails. Have you ever opened a presentation and the thumbnails were either very large or very small? The size of your thumbnails will save to your presentation and you want to um, standardize them. If you hold control and click the normal icon, you will automatically resize your thumbnails here on the left. Not a lot of people know about this. This is a super useful um, thing, especially if you're doing screenshots, blog posts, I'll control shift H to hide my notes pane. Like I do, control plus the normal icon will always standardize your thumbnail view here on the left. The next one is the slide master jump. If you hold the shift key and click the normal icon, so shift plus the normal, will jump you to your slide master view first on the child slide, 
holding shift and click it again will then jump you to the parent slide. Now, I don't have time to go into the parent slide versus child slide for building a PowerPoint template, but if you want to learn all about how to do this and watch over Camille's shoulder she does it, check out our video series on creating a PowerPoint template that I'll link in the upper right-hand corner. And finally, for the normal icon, you have hide your thumbnails. Control shift plus the normal icon will 100% hide your thumbnails here on the left. Just remember, this will save your presentation and completely freak out your boss, client, or colleague. So before you hit control S to save your presentation and send it along, I highly encourage you to click the normal icon, bring the thumbnails back, and nobody's gonna freak out. So that, those are some hidden shortcuts for the normal icon. Now let's talk about the slide sorter icon marked here on my little um, graphic. So normally, if you just click the slide sorter icon, you're just gonna go to the slide sorter view. You can control shift spin wheel in, control shift spin wheel out. You can click and drag your slides around. We don't care about that. We care about some hidden shortcuts. So first off, you have the handout master. Shift plus the slide sorter view. Shift plus the slide sorter view is gonna jump you to your handout master. This is where you can change the orientation, portrait or landscape of your handouts. You can format the individual three slides per page, four slides per page, add your header, add your logo, add any kind of company design. This is basically the slide master, except it's the slide, it's the handout master, so it's the slide master for your handouts. So formatting this will actually make your handouts look more professional. So if you're giving out handouts for your presentation, I recommend spending some time in the handout master, and you can always get there, shift plus the slide sorter, click the normal icon to come back to the normal view. Another cool shortcut off the slide sorter icon is control shift plus slide sorter. This is going to, control shift slide sorter, give you the outline view in full screen. So you can get more text to run across your slide. Notice if I come back to the normal icon, if I just hit the control shift tab icon, this is what the outline view normally looks like. Control shift slide sorter is gonna bring it into full screen all the way across. And you can always go back just by clicking the normal icon, control shift tab, Control shift H to have my notes pane. And it looks like I lost myself in my queue. So that those are the two hidden shortcuts with the slide sorter icon. Next we have the reading view icon, which is marked here. You can see at the bottom of my screen. Now I don't ever really use this view itself. It's supposed to allow you to read through your slides. I don't see how this is any better than just hitting shift F5 for presentation mode, but you can hold shift and click the reading view icon to quickly jump to the setup show dialog box. This would normally you'd get at this from your slideshow tab, setup show slideshow. This you just shift reading icon. This allows you to change your presentation to run by an individual window. So you can show two presentations at the same time, you know, looping. This is where I'll select present by speaker. This is a normal view. This is where you can change your pen color. This is where you can change your default laser pointer color. If you have custom slideshows, etc. There's a lot of stuff you can choose there, and this shift plus the reading icon is a fast way to get there. So that's the only hidden shortcut I know of off the reading view icon. Next, you have the slideshow icon, marked here on the right, right here on the very end. So normally, if you hit slideshow, this will just take you to presentation mode on the slide that you're currently on. I'll hold control and use my laser pointer. This is the same as hitting shift F5 on your keyboard, which I use more frequently. But some cool um, shortcuts off of it are, number one, you can double up. So shift plus the reading icon brings you up with the setup show dialog box. Shift plus um, the slideshow icon will do the same thing. So it's just a doubled up shortcut there. Control plus the normal icon, I never use this to present online, but if you do, this is another fast way to get at this presenting online through the Office Presentation Service. The other cool one here is just Alt plus the slideshow icon. Alt plus the slideshow icon will run a mini presentation of your deck in the upper right hand corner and you can just key through it and then hit escape like you normally would, which will bring you back to whatever slide, Alt plus this little, uh, plus the slideshow icon. So this is kind of a cool little mini shortcut that not a lot of people know, know about that you can quickly eyeball your presentation. So those are the hidden shortcuts moving from the normal icon, the slide sorter icon, the reading, the reading view icon, and the slideshow icon that you can use to crush your daily tasks and help get you to happy hour. 
And that wraps up, if I come to the last slide, my ultimate workspace challenge here in PowerPoint and is the answer to Esther's question, which once I showed her these, she said, oh my God, thank you so much. So if this has helped you too, let me know in the comments section below, what was your favorite shortcut from this ultimate slideshow challenge, allowing you to edit your slides in slideshow mode for your boss, client, or colleague as they're rattling off their changes. And don't forget, if you want to support the channel and learn everything there is to know about PowerPoint, check out our PowerPoint Pro membership in the description box below. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.